何Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martini Cross Nation. And for today's video, today's just the normal Monday uh, video talking about, you know, the VIP and everything that come, everything that's coming out this week. We're not going to waste any time or we're just going to jump straight into the content. So for VIP this week, we're getting the Spirit Part, Balloon Moogle, and Charity and 1400 extra jewels. Uh, honestly, I'm actually a little bit disappointed in this one. The accessory itself doesn't do anything, so in my eyes, it doesn't really matter unless you really like the accessory and you just want the accessory. Uh, 1400 jewels is really nice though. We're getting Marluxia EX again. Uh, we're also getting the Kingdom Hearts 3 Sword EX medal again. We're getting, and just like usual, we're getting the 7 Magic Broom medals, the th times 2 3 gems, and the VIP Magic Mirror quests. For this week's Union Cross, because it did get resetted, uh, we are getting a new frog cap accessory. Uh, and we got actually a new type of Heartless that we can fight in the bonus times of Union Cross as well. I fought it myself. I actually thought it was pretty cool. The animations were interesting. Um, and I actually enjoyed it quite a lot. It's nice to have a different and fresh take on enemies and stuff like that. So it's not, it's not continuously repetitive. Uh, and it was fun seeing the animations in my opinion. But at least in terms of the accessory itself, the accessory gives you an item drop perk of plus three. And if you complete the raid boards as well, uh, you will also unlock the ribbit, croak, it's raining, and it's so damp uh, speech for Union Cross as well. Now this one's probably going to be my favorite for the entirety of today's update. We are finally getting another skills the thrill deal. However, however, the main thing that's exciting about this is the fact that it's actually pretty good this time. Like it's really good. Normally when a skills the thrill deal happens in global, the the skills aren't really that that great. Um, usually there might only be like one or two skills that are actually useful at most and you might only want to get a couple copies. But in this case, almost every single skill here for the skills the thrill deal is actually really useful. So we're getting attack boost 6 max, we're getting defense boost 3 max, attack boost 5 max and gauge 0, attack boost 5 max and lux plus, and a triple threat. Two. All five of these are very viable to use. Defense boost 3 max and triple threat 2 are great for PvP. If you already have medals with triple threat 2 or defense boost 3 max on them, um, but you're wondering maybe if you should get a couple extra, uh, it wouldn't hurt. Now, to be honest, guys, the skills, the thrill deal that we have right now, this one is technically still kind of considered bait. Solely because of the fact that we know the Toy Story collab is about to happen either like this weekend or sometime next week, most likely. And this is literally coming out well before that basically almost anything that comes out right before something we're expecting uh that isn't like absolutely needed or mandatory is usually classified as bait <laughs> pretty much in terms of this skills the thrill deal it's so good and you're literally getting some of the best skills in the entire game from this skills the thrill deal right here um it's like it's kind of bait but not bait and to be honest i would not blame you if you decided to get quite a quite a bunch of these skills i spent about 10k of jewels just like plowing through these skills primarily because of the fact that like i've been lacking in skills especially the attack boost 5 max and lux plus like you almost never see that in a banner and it's helping on my raid setups right now as well all i gotta say though in terms of the skills the thrill deal is that if you choose to pull from the skills the thrill just keep in mind just remember that the toy store collab is about to happen fairly soon so try to have at least a little bit of jewels left over uh to use on the collaboration event possibly all right now last but not least we are finally entering the third and final stage of the global festival for those of you who might be wondering like oh is it the final stage why is this the final stage good question it's almost like i wish i knew what stages we were going to have in the first place or how many we're going to have or you know maybe what we're even fighting for in the first like what incentives and rewards are we even fighting for in the first place all great questions and i wish we had answers but we don't in case you don't know that was a little bit of sarcasm uh <laughs> I might recommend checking out my Global vs. JP video that I have uh, up on the channel. I'll leave I'll leave a link up in the card up above. So at the very least, in terms of this event right here, uh, it's another raid week in which that Square Enix asking us to farm together with JP 500 trillion lux in total with JP. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have no idea what Square Enix is smoking right now. Because 
I, and it's got it's got to be some of that good stuff because like I have no idea what exactly they're trying to do here with this. There's some theories that maybe the entire point of the global festival event uh, with JP was to basically make us through that like round one JP won, round two global wins, and then round three everybody wins so that way the entire event's just like a giant draw. That's that's kind of a theory that I partially have and like I've heard other people say too that maybe that's what they're doing uh, or that's at least that was our initial intention anyways. Um, and it's just like it, it's just falling flat. It kind of aggravates me a little bit in terms of stage three that we're in right now, which is essentially the fact that they expect us to reach a goal of 500 trillion lux. OK, and if we scroll down the notice, they actually state again. As typical bonus times differ between the global and Japanese versions, this time there will be no bonus time offered in either version. Like what? Like to me this makes no sense at all whatsoever. For round one, because the fact we were actually competing with JP in order to make things fair for both sides of the competition, it makes sense to not have bonus times. That's disregarding the fact that they gave it to us anyways. but. For round one, it makes sense, okay? For round two, in which we're actually working with each other, it doesn't make any sense to me at all whatsoever to say, to keep things fair, we're not going to give either side uh, bonus lux times, okay? Like, but we're working with each other. Like, if I'm working with you, I want you to do good. So stage three would actually be the state that you would actually want and encourage having bonus lux times this time. Uh, I should also say too that for stage one, we barely got like 500 and like 80 trillion lux or something. Um, that's with the double lux times that both JP and Global got. And if we're getting absolutely no lux times at all this week for both Global and JP, I, I'm not. I have no idea how we're going to reach this 500 trillion lux. I'm kind of low-key skeptical on whether or not we're going to even get close to it, but uh, I'm feeling a little skeptical on whether or not we'll actually be able to meet that deadline <laughs> by the end of this week. Now it's very possible that Square Enix could be just planning and deciding uh, as a surprise to give both parties double lux sometime during like this week or something. In which case, Square Enix, if you haven't been watching this video, and that is kind of what you're planning right now. I will tell you right now, please don't do that. <laughs> and I'll give, I'll tell you why. Specifically and almost solely because of the fact you did not give us any heads up whatsoever that we will be getting double lux at the beginning of week, at the beginning of stage three, let alone the entire event, whatever. I swear to God, if you give any of us double lux anytime throughout this week without any sort of prior notice, I will be pissed off even more. Solely because of the fact that, one, I do not like the fact that I actually have to raid for a second week in a row this month for the game. People have lives and uh, grinding Lux to be competitive in here takes a lot of time. And two, because of that, a lot of people tend to like to schedule in advance uh, with their job or whatever, or just whatever in general, and for their schedule, for their weekly schedule, to be able to take into account the extra Lux times and whatnot. If you give no prior notice whatsoever, that's gonna mess a lot of people up and that's just gonna naturally make people upset. And three, another reason is if you just give it to us out of nowhere throughout the week, that just continues to go to show us that you guys just don't know how to communicate with your fan base at all whatsoever. Like, quite honestly, it is not too hard to just be like, hey guys, for this week, we won't be providing uh, Lux times at all for both sides at first, but down the line, uh, we might provide up or something. We might consider it. Or or at the very least, maybe like on Wednesday, we're like, hey, uh, starting this weekend, we're going to start giving double lux just as a heads up. Like if you aren't able to do something as simple as this, you're not going to have my sympathy. It's a little ridiculous how, at least to how it looks to me, how short-sighted you can be on just simply communicating with your fan base properly. Just talk to us like normal human beings. I'm sure most of us would appreciate that a whole lot more. Other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as that one. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Newcast Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.